Hello friends, this video on whole numbers part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now move on to the next property that is commutative property. Now, what is commutative? What does the word commutative means? It is derived from the word commute. Commute means to exchange. Now, many a times you would have heard people saying that every day I commute from my home to my office. So, commute is basically exchange. Exchange of place maybe your place is exchanging from home to office, office to home. So, commute could also be when you exchange any kind of information. So, the word commute is related to exchange. Now, here we will see what kind of exchange happens in commutative property. Now, can you guess something about the commutative property looking at the picture on the screen? On the screen, in the first picture, you see that the girl is sitting on the left and the guy is sitting on the right. What do you see in the next picture? Their positions are exchanged. Now, the guy is sitting on the left and the girl is sitting on the right. Right? So, they, they have just exchanged their positions. So, do you get some clue from this? So, what it actually tells is, let us say if you add any two whole numbers, for example, 18 and 6. So, what is the result? The result is 24. Now, if you exchange the position of these two whole numbers, that is, if instead of writing it as 18 plus 6, if you write it as 6, 6 plus 18, what would be the result? The result would still remain the same. The result would still be 24. So, this shows that 18 plus 6 is actually equal to 6 plus 18. So, when you add two whole numbers, even if you change the positions or if you interchange the position of the two whole numbers, the result still remains the same. So, this is one example. Let us take another example. So, in this example, let us take 0 as one of the numbers. So, let's say 22 plus 0 is 22. Now, let just change the positions. So, 0 plus 22, the result again is 22. So, therefore, we see that 22 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 22. So, from these two examples, what we observe is if A and B are two whole numbers, then a plus b is always equal to b plus a. So, the, this is the commutative property of addition. So, we say that addition is commutative in whole numbers. Why addition is commutative? Because even if you exchange the positions of the whole numbers, the result still remains the same. So, a plus b is equal to b plus a. This proves that addition is commutative in whole numbers. What about subtraction? division, multiplication. So, let us quickly look at the commutative property of all other operations. So, let us start with subtraction. So, what do you think? Subtraction will be commutative or not? So, you think, do you really think that subtract, subtraction is not commutative? Okay, let's try. Let's consider 18 minus 6. So, what do we get? We get 12. Now, as we interchange the position of the digits it becomes 6 minus 18 and what is the result it is minus 12 so this shows that a minus b is not equal to b minus a so therefore subtraction is not commutative so then let's talk about multiplication now in multiplication is commutative let's take examples 18 into 6 is 108 <coughs> Now, when we interchange the positions, it becomes 6 into 18, which is still 108. Let's take another example. Let's say 5 into 0 is equal to 0. What about 0 into 5? That is also 0. So, considering these two, we see that A into B is equal to B into E. And that is why we say that multiplication is commutative. What about division? Division is again not commutative. That is because when you divide 16 by 8, what do you get? 
you get 2. Now when you divide 8 by 16, what do you get? You get 1 by 2. So therefore, you see that A divided by B is not equal to B divided by A. And therefore, division is not commutative. If you want, we can take another example. So this is example number 1. And let's take another example. Let's say 0 divided by 1 is 0. But when you divide 1 by 0, it is not defined. So overall, we can say that division is not commutative. So as, as far as the commutative property is uh, concerned, uh, again, addition is commutative and multiplication is commutative. Division and subtraction are not commutative. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.